morning YouTube good morning we're here this morning uh, washing in the wet and cold rain so as you can see it's raining pretty good outside and um, we got to wash two houses today and it's 40 degrees out right now I'm freezing cold so um, I've just been out here getting my trailer ready for the day. Wanted to record a quick little video. Um, hopefully it's not too freezing outside and I don't get sick. I'm already starting to kind of get something. And I was out here yesterday washing in the cold too. Um, so this is my first season washing. So I'm still, you know, learning Midwest soft washing, Midwest power and soft washing, baby. But, um, yeah guys so i just wanted to point out it's freezing cold and it's raining so this will be a fun day we'll see you guys at the wash so we just arrived to the property it's currently 41 degrees outside and uh got the water filling up now so i'm just gonna take out my hose but yeah i want to show you guys the house just the front of it. I'm gonna be bringing my hose to the back side right now. But yeah, this side's pretty bad. Spots here, all along these gutters. The whole house, really. But that's what I do every time. Set up my water and my hose to the back of the property. We want to take out as much. Oh, this might not be the best side to go on with the hose. All right, I'm not going to go this way just because it's going to be a pain. But, um, yeah, so always just bring the hose out to the back of your property, whichever side that way. You've got it all out while your water's filling up. I always let my water fill up all the way before I start as well just because some water is really slow so um yeah but this one the house we got some spooky some spooky season washing i got half inch hose too guys so half inch weighs a lot more than three eighths for the record. But yeah, this one's pretty, pretty big wash. I mean, it's just more than average, I would say. Yeah, definitely a good idea to have uh, pulled the hose back around here. So yeah, we're on 200 feet of uh, high pressure hose, obviously. It is half inch, like I said. And I just connect 200 feet on um, lengths. So that way, if a hose pops, you just got another one. So that's what I do. Um, instead of buying the 200 foot hose, just get yourself 200 feet and connect them real quick. But uh, yeah, guys, so we'll get to washing this thing and uh, yeah, we got one more after this as well. So yeah, guys, now we just started pulling the SH uh, through the downstream. I wet down the plants and such and started this time lapse. Um, one thing also to note with these properties that you're washing during the cold weather is the dwell time. So usually, um, you know, during the warm weather, you're looking at like a four to five minute dwell time, four to six minutes. Um, with this cold weather, I'm experiencing uh, close to like 12 minutes, 10 minutes, I'd say, uh, minimum. And the SH also doesn't work as nearly as well either. So that's also, um, you know, a factor that comes into play when you're washing in the cold weather uh, like this. 
I did get pretty lucky as the, you know, sun started to come out and the rain went away um, from how it was earlier this morning. But yeah, the wind was um, probably the second biggest factor to this wash um, aside from the cold weather. So yeah, the wind was pretty bad. So this house is pretty tall. So when you're, you know, trying to get up top, um, you know, start side swiping your stuff, over spray, all that jazz with the wind. But um, aside from that, the wash did go pretty smooth. Um, nothing really too out of the ordinary with this one. Um, the backside was really bad, so you'll be able to see that in these next couple of clips uh, after this time lapse. But yeah, guys, I just want everyone to have a wonderful you know, season, um, whether you're in the Midwest or not, you know, once you start getting these cold weathers, guys, we got to make sure to maximize as much of these washes as we can and get in, you know, as much as we can towards the end of the season here. Um, and that's what I'm doing, you know, just trying to double down. I'm spending more on marketing right now than I did last month. Um, and that's because I'm trying to get as many of these jobs in as I can before the season ends. So, yeah, guys, let's go around to the back. Also, guys, wanted to show the back side of this house. It's really bad. Gutters. Super covered. Yeah, just all over. So, um, yeah, I'm about to start remote down streaming it, but... Also, to you guys, with this temperature, it's taking a bit longer to wash. Look at all that, that's crazy. It's taking a bit longer to wash because of the dwell time. Yeah, this side is really bad. Here is our finished product, roughly two hours later, between setup and breakdown, but yeah, we're looking way better. All the gutters, soffits, siding, all came super clean. house was roughly two hours like I said um, but yeah pretty pretty good wash for me by myself today um, we got one more after this here's the back side back side was really bad too the door was really bad All the way across. Siding looking clean. So yeah guys, it warmed up, sun came out, stopped raining. So that's a very positive plus. It was really cold earlier, but um, without the sun. The sun, definitely warmer. I was actually gonna take this off, but I just figured I just finished the wash. But uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go to the next house and uh, get that all taken care of. This is gonna be a ranch house and a detached garage. So um, yeah, guys, we'll see you there. Alrighty, now we are at our second house. I forgot to kind of do the other stuff, but here's what we're looking at. Pretty dirty. All around. Siding. 
You can see the client tried to do it themselves. Same with the floor. Basically gonna do a little extra for this client. She was really nice to me in the beginning. Said I seem like a good person, so. I'm gonna touch up all these blocks for her. And um, yeah, we're also doing this. gutters are insane. It's basically all the way down. That. Same with the other side too. Walk around there as well. Basically getting the whole property wet and I'm gonna hit all of it with SH all at once so yeah my arm is tired holding this thing up yeah here's this side guys oh yeah so Hose won't reach, but there's the back side of the garage. Everything on this house is just cooked, so um, yeah. Let's get her done, guys. Also guys, I think I may clean up this space for her as well too, and her front porch. It's my last job of the day. It's nice and sunny out now, so we're just gonna do a little bit extra just uh, just cause. So um, yeah, just wanna document this before this thing. I don't know, some sort of design, but yeah. Currently soaking the house in S8. All right guys, so I discovered that this path actually keeps on going. I'm going and going, so I've just got myself a nice little mess on my hands, but yeah, so we're gonna clear out this section and get it all nice and clean up in here. Doing some pavers, some extra stuff. I got nothing else going on today, so this lady was super nice to me, so I'm gonna take over. Here we are guys with the final product. Finished off in about four hours. Um, small job turned to a little bit of a project, but that's okay. Got the stuff all cleaned up for her. 
as well as the front of the house. Did this stone uh, wall, retaining wall, can't think of the word, all the way around. Same here, all the way around, side of the house, back of the house. Had some issues here with the inside of her windows. We're leaking, so it's not good. Man, we've got our really bad side, the gutters. Look at those things shining bright. Let's go. All the way down. Cleaned up both of these slabs for her as well. I don't know guys, I just felt like doing extra today basically. Here's this side with these gutters. Our first walk through. And this whole side was just bad in general. But it's all really cleaned out. And we got the back of the house all clean. So yeah guys, successful wash. Um, definitely probably doubled. I was done in about two hours, hour and a half, and I just doubled my time here just because I um, wanted to do a little extra, of course. So, um, yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'm done for the day. Equipment's wrapped up. Just shut off my remote box. Oh, I actually got to grab, I think I left my twin turbo over here. But, um, yeah, guys, so we'll see you at the next job. Peace.